Well, last night, Kanye sent out a series of tweets clarifying his comments, saying in part, to make myself clear, of course I know that slaves did not get shackled and put on a boat by free will. My point is for us to have stayed in that position, even though the numbers were on our side, means that we were mentally enslaved. So, Van, does that at all change how you feel? Absolutely not. Um, <laughs> and, and the reason it doesn't is because of two things. Number one, uh, slavery was a multi-front war that was fought against people of color. It involved the ribbing apart of families, it involved actual physical mm -hmm. chapels, it involved uh, all different types of things. And you can't sum it up um, by any one thing. And there are history books out there that everyone can be free to read uh, or is free to read on the atrocities of slavery. Yeah. Um, when you start breaking it down by choice, that is doing a disservice to the survivors that my Absolutely. ancestors were who endured all those terrible things not to be on the real talking to you ladies right now. And whatever happens going forward, uh -huh. those people will be respected and revered. The way you handled it and the words and the choices, uh, the choice you made to use the words that you did is a great example of how we should all treat each other today and when we disrespect or when we disagree with each other. And Van, I commend you for that. This that is so a thing. Good. Remember, we always say on this show, Van, that we think that all people, we need to have diversity, especially in our newsrooms. We need to have a Jamal the intern. That's, That's our what running she always joke. Calls it. You <laughs> were my Jamal the intern <laughs> yesterday. <laughs>